Well, just recently I sent a uh, new Chieftain V4 on a whistle tour around America, uh, and it's still going around America, and this is uh, some months ago now. Uh, a lot of the feedback that I got from this particular whistle was its volume. Um, I like a, a whistle um, to be kind of smooth and creamy, which is my personal taste, and I know a lot of, a lot of people do like that sort of sound. But a lot of the, um, the comments were that it wasn't quite as loud as people wanted. So I had a good think about this, and um, I've developed um, kind of a, a new whistle out of an old whistle. So um, I really wanted to up the level of volume without losing any of the kind of characteristics that I like. So what I've done is I've kind of remodelled the old NR Chieftain and given it a new name and um, reintroducing it as the uh, Chieftain Thunderbird. I thought it was an appropriate name because it's very loud. Um, it's still got that kind of rounded smooth sound but it's just got a lot more volume. Um, I'll give you a demonstration of the old uh, V4, when I say old V4, the, uh, the latest V4. It's just mellow and smooth, um, whereas the new Thunderbird, which is a remodelled NR Chieftain, the differences are mainly that the mouthpiece is very, very thin, which is very nice to have in the mouth. It's almost like you've got nothing in your mouth at all. Um, we've had a little bit of jiggery-pokery on the internal dynamics, and it's just beautifully rounded off, so you can actually see there's actually very little to go in the mouth. And this is what it sounds like. You can tell straight away that there's just a lot more punch. Chieftain Thunderbird. I hope that fulfills all of your requirements, you loud people.